Marius, how is it possible that you've been working in IT for more than 20 years and you are still excited when you open a box with a new device that arrived a few minutes ago? Well, the answer is really simple. Listen to that. Did you hear that? Yes, PFSense reported, I am ready, you can start using PFSense. I want to share my passion here and show you why it's a great idea to buy a device and replace your existing router. That's our goal. We want to have PFSense running our network. It's okay to have a virtual machine, but nothing, believe me, nothing replaces a real piece of hardware, a real device. I decided to go for a device from ProtectMe. Why? Awesome feedback online, great support, a few options to customize your unit. It just looks awesome. We get four ports. Why do you need four ports? I need one port for my local network. I want to have two links to the internet. This is why I need four ports. You can connect a screen and install PFSense or anything else that you want, or you can use a special console cable. Yes, you don't even need a screen to install your firewall. What I love about this device is that when you go online, you can actually customize it. You can decide, you know what? I want four gigabytes of RAM. I want uh, a bigger SSD, solid state disk. I want a wireless module, even an option for TPM. For example, if you want to run Windows 10 or other operating systems and store your encryption keys, for example, for BitLocker. I really like the idea of customizing this unit. One thing that you can go for is an open source BIOS system. If you want to be crazy secure, you want to make sure that there is no backdoor in your BIOS, go for an open source BIOS version. It's over here. This is exactly what I ordered. Four days later, this unit arrived at my desk. I started with a screen, a keyboard and a USB stick. To connect this device to my laptop, I used an RJ45 to USB adapter. There is a USB stick that will be used to install PFSense. We connect all cables, HDMI, network cable, by default, PFSense is going to use port 1 for your white area network and port 2 for your local network. When we boot up, USB is in the list and then next next finish and you're done. It took me like 3 minutes to have PFSense up and running. No tricky questions, nothing to worry about, it was really simple. 